Um, hello everyone. So I'm just coming live from um, a bathroom that I'm hiding in at the moment um, in Osaka in Japan. Um, this is the third time I've tried to enter Taiji. I've actually been to Taiji twice before as a code guardian um, and uh, I've just been in interrogation for the last five hours um, and they've just decided that they're not going to grant me entry basically because I'm a Sea Shepherd volunteer. They didn't say that I'm a Sea Shepherd volunteer but they said that um, I'm not entering under the purposes of um, a tourist visa. Uh, a lot of other groups and independents are allowed to enter Japan um, to document the slaughter of, you know, thousands of dolphins each year. Thank you for everyone that's starting to watch now. Um, and also thank you to everyone who will watch. Um, and yeah, so it, it's quite upsetting that after five hours of interrogation, they've decided not to allow me entry into Taiji. So um, please keep following this page. We don't know obviously what's going to happen in future, but you know, there's, there's no harm in trying. Um, to get back in so as you all know um, any you know support of any captive facility is actually supporting the slaughter of dolphins in Taiji Japan it's about supply and demand so um, please don't visit any marine parks please educate enough as many people as you can um, sorry I'm a little bit shaky I haven't had any sleep I've been interrogated like I said for the last five hours um, and yeah, so please share this video, please let everyone know of the injustice and the discrimination against us Sea Shepherd volunteers wanting to enter Taiji. Um, and uh, thank you everyone for the comments that I can see coming up now. I've got someone waiting outside the toilet, like I literally ran into the toilet so that I could do this feed. Um, oh, um, how you can help from there. So if you have a look, Paul Watson actually posted the other day just about how you can contact the, the consulates and what have you and also the, um, the Taiji um, Fishermen's Union. So you can actually contact them, send them emails, um, keep following the Operation 404 Facebook pages um, and I'm sure that there'll be more updates soon. I will be deported very soon. I don't know how many more hours. Um, I currently feel like a captive prisoner myself. I've been stuck in a room. So the interrogation room that I was stuck in, I was literally in there for five hours. They would come and interrogate me for about an hour, ask me the same questions over and over again. And then they would leave the room for about an hour and I basically wouldn't know what was going on. Um, didn't know when I could get water next. I tried to eat a vegan chocolate bar that I had with me and they basically said, don't eat. And then when I asked the person that, um, it was basically a gentleman and they had a translator on a, a, a speakerphone and I would ask, can I eat? And then she would ask and then they would let me eat something. So I've had like one chocolate bar um, and that's basically about it. And I've had some water as well. Um, and then I, oh, why am I being held? Um, basically because I tried to enter Japan again and I've been here to Japan twice before. So the last time I was in Taiji was November and December of 2015. The day before I left I was actually interrogated for three and a half hours. They were trying to get us the defamation of a character um, because we posted photographs of some trainers that were torturing dolphins, which they actually were. They had their arms down dolphins' throats and that's basically a training technique that they do. Um, so yeah, that's basically why. Um, they didn't actually say that that's the reason why I was being held. Um, again, they would just ask me questions what I was doing here last time, why I was there again. Um, Yes, Mina, you're right, they don't want the world to know, unfortunately, but I mean, the world does know, we just have to keep spreading the message, we have to keep telling people, and we have to keep trying, um, and it's not just Taiji, it's basically every marine facility, like marine park, every dolphin prison, every place that holds any animals in captivity, we need to make sure they're all boycotted and educated as much people as possible. Um, so I'm going to have to probably go because I'm, I could potentially get into a lot of trouble that I've gone through my suitcase and found one of my Sea Shepherd shirts. They did find a hoodie and that's what alerted them to the fact that it's Sea Shepherd but then I've actually been told that they would have known anyway, um, which is great. So. When I walk out of here and back into the immigration and interrogation room with my Sea Shepherd shirt on, they're not going to be very happy. So we'll see when they'll let me out. Um, keep tuned. So I've, I'm updating obviously people in Sea Shepherd what's happening with me. So I'll hopefully hold on to my phone for a bit longer and give more updates. Um, and hopefully I can.
get out of Japan pretty soon because it's not fun being interrogated. Um, and just to let you know, I actually arrived at 9.30 p.m. and I think I look at the time now. It's 2.39 a.m. so I've basically been held captive this whole time. Um, so yeah, please share this video. I know I look like a train wreck myself, um, which is obvious reasons why. Um, share the video and just, just keep sharing anything that you see that comes up on this page. Anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for the support. Wish me luck. See ya. Bye.